world shakes. Philippines purchases two of America's strongest ships and three of Australia's largest ships. In a significant move to bolster its maritime security capabilities, the Philippines has signed a historic agreement to acquire two decommissioned U.S. Coast Guard ships and three ex-Australian landing boats. The deal was finalized during a bilateral meeting between the respective defense officials of the Philippines, the United States, and Australia, marking a milestone in regional security cooperation. The acquisition of the ex-US Coast Guard ships and ex-Australian landing boats is part of the Philippine government's commitment to enhancing its maritime surveillance and response capabilities. With the country's strategic location in Southeast Asia, safeguarding its territorial waters and exclusive economic zones has become a top priority. The two ex-US Coast Guard ships bring advanced technology and proven operational excellence to the Philippine Navy. Equipped with state-of-the-art navigation systems, communications equipment, and surveillance capabilities, these vessels are expected to play a crucial role in combating maritime threats such as piracy, smuggling, and illegal fishing. Additionally, the three ex-Australian landing boats are a valuable addition to the Philippine Marine Corps' amphibious capabilities. These vessels are designed for versatile operations, including troop transport, humanitarian assistance, disaster relief, and patrolling coastal areas. During the signing ceremony, Philippine Defense Secretary emphasized the country's commitment to regional stability and cooperation, stating, the acquisition of these ships and landing boats signifies our dedication to upholding maritime security in our region. We look forward to working closely with our partners in the United States and Australia to ensure the safety and prosperity of our shared waters. The United States and Australia both express their support for the Philippines' efforts to enhance its maritime capabilities. In a joint statement, their defense officials reaffirmed their commitment to strengthening defense ties and promoting regional security in the Indo-Pacific. The Philippine Navy and Marine Corps are now preparing to receive the newly acquired assets and conduct training exercises to integrate them into their respective fleets. The addition of these ships and landing boats is expected to significantly boost the Philippines' ability to respond to various maritime challenges and contribute to the overall security of the region.